Alrighty lads, welcome back to another episode of my Byzantium playthrough. I just want to address a couple things here really quickly before we get in. And one is that uh, a couple episodes ago, I think maybe episode 33, I was talking about including subjects in missionaries. Uh, it was brought to my attention by you guys that you can see them right here. Right here, mate. Interesting that we can actually convert French provinces... Uh, which is, you know, made very apparent by this menu screen. Even though he is actually reformed. So I, I guess technically we could convert his provinces, the ones that don't have this modifier. And then due to having this modifier, uh, he won't be able to convert them back. That's something interesting, in my opinion. Uh, that we can do sort of uh, as we're integrating him, I suppose. But either way, I appreciate you guys letting me know that. Obviously, I am a noob sometimes. And uh, with that in mind, the other thing is people were talking about I sent my cannons in first to fight the Mamelukes around this region. Uh, which doesn't surprise me. That's probably the case, considering, in hindsight, how poorly we did. So, uh, noob monk, back on the helm. And uh, this episode, we're going to be taking Rome. Which is something I'm really, really looking forward to. We're going to be doing a little bit of walkabouts. And then, yeah, taking out the, the Pope. So if we... I'm interested to see how many troops he has. Where's T down here? He's got 34,000. That's a pretty considerable amount. And, uh... We have some manpower myself. So it looks like we got a decent amount of, um... Cavalry. I'm going to be fo focusing on cannons here. I do actually want to be saving up to embrace my institute. But screw it, let's go to war. <clears throat> I don't want to underestimate them and uh, fight any costly war. What I might do, actually, is go into this nation here, which is really, really free. That's something I, I intended to do. And uh, why don't we do that before he gains some allies? <clears throat> I've got a little bit of a raspy voice, guys. I uh, woke up recently. Ah, uh, he's guaranteed. Of course he's guaranteed. Alright, maybe not. We won't go in. Uh, I wonder if Russia will re-ally. Oh, wow, he's guaranteeing QQ. Hey, look at that. Russia didn't actually take Circassia, which is uh, interesting. And we have a shorter choose time than him. I might end up gobbling that up. No, back to the Pope we go. We shall kill the Pope, I say. This war might take some time while we are coring up some of our provinces. If you know what I'm saying. I'm hoping it doesn't uh, it is decisive, but I'm a little bit concerned about my little subjects getting wrecked by Bohemia or something if we use the show superiority uh, CB. Yep, our little dynasty brother down here is getting wrecked by Savoy, which is uh, something we sort of noticed last episode. And we have four missionaries now, which is uh, really nice. I'd love to take Rome, because we're only going to need more and more missionaries, especially as we collapse into the east. And uh, getting that fifth would be really important. I suggest, where's Restore the Pentiarchy? Rome is five. 
So we need uh, Alexandria that's coming down the line. And that's it, I think. I said five. I don't know what I meant by that. Seven. Yeah, I think that's it. We need Alexandria. Cool. So actually in nine years, we uh, should have another missionary because I will be taking Alexandria against the Mamluks. I still desire a lot of uh, provinces from the Mamluks, which is a bit awkward. Like I want the Greek provinces so we can convert this more cheaply. But it just saves a little bit of... um. Diplo. I might be doing some converting of some Syrians to Greek regardless even though we don't have any Greek provinces nearby right now Rome is uh, occupied which is a bit awkward nice so let's take the 10% admin tech reduction, which of course gives us five more states. And we actually have a lot of states, man. Eleven that could be stated up. <coughs> Do we have any states remaining of nations we integrated? I don't think so. Two of those provinces and these provinces here. This is just such a bad estate. I'm not going to do it. We're going to operate where we're at right now, gaining a lot of money and manpower, and uh, I'm going to state those up when I can, like integrating. We're going to be integrating so much, guys. The good news is we're going to be able to integrate, uh, state up rather, you know, pretty much all of France, and it's not going to cost us admin. So a lot of people dislike my play style, as I've done that a lot in the past, but uh, I'm going to be holding out. Okay, Rome looks up for grabs right now. So, still got 34k, I'm not sure exactly where they are located, but I think I should declare the war while we can occupy Rome. And uh, we're going to try and not lose our war score via our subjects but it, it could be could be difficult i'm also trying to gain manpower you know if you guys have not noticed okay a lot of oh wow he peaced out wow okay all right so it's basically us versus them uh We've taken out these rebels. I am wondering if Poland can not get access if this will actually uh, spawn Transylvania. And I would be happy to grab that guy really quickly. Pope's troops are all exiled. Okay, they're coming this way. Transporting by sea is going to be the best move to get reinforcements over here quickly and I will be willing to just you know break the siege well fort level five there I hate it when the Europeans start getting their forts up you know the Europeans are the the culprit they do it the most and uh, as tempted as I am to spend my money we're saving up for the Institute I got to remind myself Okay, we do have access, which does not surprise me. I thought that would be the case. So, 20 Bohemians. We're all on the same tech level. He's got offensive ideas. I think this is enough troops in Italy. Right now, considering we can walk around to northern Italy as well. 
Uh, I'm going to go and blockade him with my fleet to hopefully reduce the siege time on that painful siege of Roma. The other uh, very important thing to consider is aggressive expansion. Now, I would love to, like, join up as much as possible. Uh, so, not worried about the Mamluks. Wow, aggressive expansion is really high with Hungary. Not worried about the Great Horde or the Pope. Liege. Spain's at 52. I kind of think... Oh, well, he allied Poland as well. Okay, that could be good, though. That could be good. Sweet. We could attack Poland. Set prepare Spain to break his alliance with um, Russia. That could be good. Is there someone else I can attack? Not really, eh? Yeah, because we've got power projection issues. I might um, insult Russia. I'm trying to keep our power projection up. Oh man, it's getting late. 16-8, guys. We've got a lot to do, really. Man, after all this time, Savoy comes back. I think he didn't even exist at one point. But uh, there we go. Feels bad, man. For our little subject there. Oh, stability. Lovely. I don't think we have a general with any siege pips. Or oh, we do. Okay. Let's send him in. So I've got big plans, guys, for sort of the late game. Like in terms of uh, client states and stuff. Hope you guys stick around. And I hope I feel like, you know... One Faith is actually plausible as well. I kind of feel like there's a lot of Orthodox. <laughs> the New World. Um, I really like this patch, guys. I really like this patch. Like, regardless of whether you can see them or not, I was aware that you can convert in your uh, clients, your subjects, provinces, which is really cool for, like, jacking people's colonial nations and converting them for One Faith. I really like that. Uh, this is a good patch i suppose to one faith in my opinion considering that change so the pope's coming i doubt he'll actually make it in here need some more score from these battles there we go need to keep that up so uh Austria's kind of coming down here to Milan. Um, my diplomats, I should be utilizing them. Keep France happy. We actually are doing very well on Liberty Desire, which I love. Uh, looks like Milan has converted all but one province, which has a modifier for one year. Cool. So, can you reach Milan? You totally can. Nice. Easy, mate. Uh-oh. Losing a small engagement over on that side. It's quite upsetting that, like, very small engagements like that apparently can uh, be worth so much. I find that uh, quite frustrating sometimes. Rome has fallen. Very good. For real. Okay, this is our kind of siege guy, so let's go out here. By the looks of things, uh, we might be somewhat dependent on just kind of playing this out, sieging people up to actually win the war. So, I think we're all in the clear here. I'm going to do kind of some carpet sieging, considering we seem perfectly safe oh maybe not actually i thought these guys were retreating the other way so let's go sort of stack wipe them and then rock up to vienna get that war score 
Diplo reputation increase, that's going to help us integrate Milan faster. Which is good. Protect us from Spain, he's got 119,000 troops. Oh boy, he's pretty strong. I feel like we could do that quite easily though. And uh, that reduced army maintenance, nice reward. We definitely have to gear up at some point to fight one of these uh, nations who are stronger than us, I suppose. Got a lot of uh, patriarchal authority to keep spamming this discipline. I kind of think that's the preferable one right now, discipline and manpower. Oh, shoot. I was hoping we could catch him. So we need 54 war score. I think we can handle that aggressive expansion, eh, guys? Spain is out. Yep. I think we can handle that aggressive expansion. That's exactly what we're going to do. Take the two provinces. His morale seems really high there, considering he just retreated. Like, damn. I don't know which one has the siege. There we go. Yeah, I'm hoping to get to a point here, guys, where we don't care about aggressive expansion because uh, we're just killing everybody, like the whole world combined. But I just don't feel like we're quite yeah that. Yeah, yeah that? I don't think that we are quite there yet. Uh, just need... Really? To get our manpower all the way up. If our manpower was all the way up, I'd be pretty prepared to just YOLO at that point. I think we're pretty strong. And I gotta sort out my composition a bit as well now that I've uh, moved all my cannons into that one spot. Don't want uh, the same reoccurring theme sending my cannons in when I haven't kept track of them. Alright, I'll be getting some Iraqi Separatists. I might just boost Autonomy if it hasn't become... Oh, in nine months, the age of Absolutism begins. It's a privilege that we're going to kind of uh, run out of. I'm also going to go for the... Uh, I forget the name right now. The Disaster, which gives you Absolutism in the long run. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, guys, from my experience of playing my German game. It seems like absolutism becomes trivial once you have over 100. That was my experience, which I was kind of surprised. Like, the main thing is the uh, admin efficiency, in my opinion, considering... It can be fairly, especially in the age of imperialism, once you don't get the free one yearly, it can be a little bit of a nuisance to keep it up. Nobody wants to peace out here. Um, so how can we gain war score quickly? The answer is battles, but it can be quite difficult to catch these guys. Alrighty, let's pass the trial for the Balkans. Huh. I mean, tradition's very high, but unfortunately, because of our cho choice of ideas, it, uh, it doesn't remain high, really. Some nice generals there, though. Nice. I like this guy with the siege on him. I was trying to actually apply him there, but uh, we'll do it in a moment. Yeah, I'm gonna need. I'm gonna make another stack with our manpower as well. So I'm really glad. I like this guy, Nicholas. Sweet. Um, I rolled another general. Yeah, because we're gonna go for four stacks basically. Long story short. My poor missionaries are getting delayed here. Oh, we're going to finish that province, it looks like, which is pretty cool. So 
So Russia is the second uh, great power, which doesn't kind of surprise me. We did a good job sort of feeding him, but also b just breaking into Lithuania. Uh, it doesn't surprise me that he is so strong. Hey, Transylvania did defect. Cool. Cool. So how about for once? Am I going to regret this? I don't think so. How about for once? Let's actually declare a bloody war uh, before he gets guaranteed by somebody. How about that? Enthusiasm's high for the Pope right now. He must, Is he fighting somebody? It doesn't seem quite right, but uh, okay. Yeah, so I'm going to delete some of the forts around here and keep the fort in the mountains just because it's so uh, nice to take battles on those mountain forts. Ooh, land maintenance is pretty good to get us lots of money, but we need better advisors, actually. I should be hiring rank 3 advisors, considering how much money we have. I wonder, uh, can we get a El Disciplinario General O? Please, O. So we did use the Holy War CB, which gives us reduced aggressive expansion, but um, still worth a significant amount of aggressive expansion there. Even though these promises are fairly low development. If Spain is still at war, very often he's at war in the New World or Africa or something, uh, then he's less likely to join the coalition. So I might not be too worried about our Gris expansion, even if he's sort of over the threshold. Let's get Transylvania out first. Age of Absolutism. Okay, so we haven't completed anything. A potential for a large army. This usually takes me a long time, like, into the age to get, but I feel like we'll get that fairly quickly, which is good. Multiple universities. Yeah, I should have already built that. God dang it. I, I forgot about that. So what's the requirement? Uh, do we need a check or something? Yeah. Okay. That one we can get up and running really quickly. Cool. Actually, we won't be doing any expanding. Then will we? Because uh, this admin efficiency is going to be a good thing to take. And the university. So I'm not going to do any more expanding than I am now. Um, knowing myself, I'll probably roll back on that. But that's the plan at least. Promoted different cultures, win religious war, not really going to be able to do any of those, absolutism, trading companies, eh? I wonder if we can expand far enough in a short amount of time. Um, it's going to take a little while, we'll complete universities and potential for a large army pretty quick. Unfortunately, you know, not very quick, not, not like we have completed things in other ages unfortunately it takes some time but it is what it is okay bohemia is just about ready to peace out with the, the old white piece Yeah, I'm not too worried right now about the fact we only have one in military because we're very far ahead in military points. Um, but we do need to start hiring like three advisors and everything, especially if we're going to bloody well fall fairly low with power projection. I really don't like that at all. Feels bad, man. This hasn't been the best game ever for power projection, that's for sure. Take the cash that he has, which is good for accepting embracing institutes. And uh, wait, what? Well, why'd you go up so much? Because we lost the war score cost for a different religion. Hmm. Okay. 
Let's go uh, smash those troops. That should demoralize them. And give us some nice war score. Stupid Lithuania. Sieging up my lands. Wow, 27 manpower and patriarchal authority. St. Michael. Legend. Sick. That's very good. We're getting some bloody manpower, boys. Are you proud of me? Everybody complaining about my manpower? Oh, my light ships. Okay, don't be proud of me. We lost some lights. Feels bad, man. I just sent them back out again. Feels bad, man. <laughs> Pro move, pro move. Okay, don't worry, guys. We've got five light ships, so we're good. Don't you worry, your sweet little head. Five light ships. We're gonna make all the monies. God dang influencer! You gotta be kidding me. Truces up with uh, Poland. Uh, definitely, we're definitely gonna be taking that fight. Ooh, interesting. Sort of vassal opportunity with the Brandy Beast. It's got quite some reconquest to be had. I think those uh, light ships were, yeah, outdated anyway. For some reason, this game basically costs full price, or it's damn close to upgrade the ships. Um, it was just straight up a noob mistake, and I know people, uh, it, it hurts people's souls. So I apologize for that. But I'm, I'm, I'd be lying if I said I was uh, really that worried about it. We're just gonna build up some more light ships. Okay, lads, everybody, calm down. Alright, so the Pope's on his own, is he? No, Lithuania, you imbecile. Let's go get some uh, more score off of him. This battle might do the trick for us. Yep. Okay, yeah, so Spain is 1A over. Uh, if he's still at war, which he is, we're going to peace out. Okay. It'll be interesting to see if we do get a coalition here, but we have a truce with many of these nations. Now, that's also 68 over extension. Okay. We're, we're under. We're under over extension. Woohoo! Rome has been conquered. Feels good, man. Which is already stated up, I believe, and that's why it was so tremendously expensive. But it's worth it. Yeah, so I don't know what that really means, guys. Maybe next episode is going to be quite uh, boring by comparison. But uh, we're not going to be going to war, I suppose. I say that a lot. Maybe we'll go to war, but we won't be taking land. Uh, because we need to accept this tech. So I'm going to be embracing the Institute, which we'll do in no time. Prestige and Diplo points. We're maxing on prestige right now. Huh. Is there anything better to spend prestige on? I don't think so. But uh, 50 Diplo. Not going to complain about that. Excellent. Haha, -ha, the conquest of Rome. Cool. Got him. Alright, so we are getting a coalition here. Interesting. Damn. I'd love to actually declare this war just to keep the coalition back. Um, but I can't separate peace Poland. Let me think here. I want to declare on Poland to uh, null the Spanish treaties with Russia, really. Hmm. Hmm, do you guys remember when I said we're not going to go to war? It's wartime. It's wartime. No, seriously though. If we uh, are not going to spend our admin, we might as well be productive. If I declare on Poland directly, I've got a feeling if we're lucky, the Spanish will be potatoes. Okay. In before they're not potatoes, they're going to be really strong. So. Let's build up some troops. Spend some of our manpower and complete our mission to uh, have more. Troops in the Spanish. Let's check how much they have. A lot.
you're probably thinking I should have made a template. All right, so that's um, four stacks of 30, I think, right? 120. So I'm doing this in an effort to prevent the coalition from being really strong. And I'm hoping to separate piece the Spanish just to do that. And uh, yeah, hopefully that's a good move. The strange thing is though, I almost literally don't want any more Polish land. Like I'm willing to give Russia all of this, even though it kind of hurts my soul a little bit because of Russian aggression, you bastards. You bastards, get out of Europe. But still, it's got to be done. This is a little bit irritating, these Hungarian troops. So I'm going to pull my troops back, even though I want to go fight these rebels. Rebels are actually, like, progressing. So I do have to focus on them. Um, let's have a look at our fleets here. Losing money feels good, man. Yeah, let's get these Hungarians off of my land really quickly. We're recruiting a lot of um, troops. There we go. So this coalition that's forming, Ragusa, etc. It should, like, disappear. Hopefully, once we peace out this war. Hungarian capital, Pest, should be fairly easy. Yeah, god dang it. Of course the Spanish are not going to be a potato. I was kind of hoping they would be, considering um, they they kind of have been, if you feel what I'm saying. Alrighty. 17, 16, 13. Wow. I think Hungary had a disaster, the knee as well as getting wrecked, so he's really feeling it. Okay, plan is get hungry out. But I'm happy to win some battles against the Poles. I've got to swing back and deal with these rebels as well. I might just do that to stall their progression. Hopefully he continues walking into QQ's lands. They do have a tendency to just pull back and attack somebody if they're sieging down their lands, you know? Okay, so he's a member of the coalition, you, you imbecile. Hey, we got a new merchant. Excellent. We can, um, well, I'll consider moving my center of trade to um, Genoa. But uh, let's not worry about that right now. Let's chuck him in Aleppo right now. We're not protecting trade in Alexandria, which is having a pretty detrimental effect on our economy by the looks of things, because I lost all my bloody lights. Um, they wouldn't be really protecting trade while we fight Spain anyway, so let's just say that to make me feel better about being a, a dingus who lost all our light ships. Okay, hopefully Austria doesn't get stack wiped here, which it kind of looks like he will. That army maintenance is good for our economy. Whew. Okay, glad we didn't lose that battle right off the bat. That would have been less than ideal. Uh, this navy is looking vulnerable to me, but I'm not sure we'll be able to catch it out of position. I'm going to try. Lebanese rebels coming. Rut row. So we, we are far ahead in military. Is it time that we harshly treat? It might be time that we harshly treat. 
Is that 50? All right. If we look at the court and country disaster, we need 50 absolutism. So that's what we're working up to. Alrighty. We might be doing a lot of harsh treatment. Yep. Those dribbles are going for me, unsurprisingly. Alright. Let's look at the composition of the stack. I need to deal with those bloody rebels. They're driving me nuts. Okay, good enough. So the Spanish are the only guys we can separate piece. Which is exactly what I intend to do. I'm really worried about losing battles and therefore war score though yay some army professionalism from probably the only way that we're ever going to get it he's sieging down the hill fort there which is uh, pretty disturbing but there we go Checking up my Diplo for negative 5. Um, yeah. No. No. Convert that to Greek first. Hungary is really far behind him in tech, so my subjects are going to go engage him then. I'm pretty sure they're going to be fine as long as there's no reinforcements. Just trying to kind of siege up all of his land here. Basically, the battlefronts are like this region and Spain. And I really wish... The Spanish are way more of a threat than the Poles. I really wish to be prepped. Yeah, to just have like 42 troops here. 42,000 troops. And go just pull everything. Go get the Spanish out of the war and then end this war. But the Hungarian service is good war score. Considering how uh, poorly they're doing in technology, etc. Those Polish look certainly yummy as well, especially if they're going, to, they're going to keep their armies separate from each other. So again, to reiterate, where I'm not trying to take land here, guys, that's that's part of the reason I'm sort of so aggressively fighting this war, is because we're trying to get things done whilst we have better things to spend our admin on. I just ticked up that province, and we're going to be waiting. Uh, I've got we're getting uh, twelve per month here, which is uh, fairly good, and I'm going to be waiting to take this up the only thing we've got two two loans but the only thing i'm worried about economically right now is dropping i want to save up to just drop five universities as soon as we have them available because of our technology all right i think we can begin swarming out to the Iberian Peninsula here. It's a shame that he got that fort. I definitely have to monitor our composition, which could be a bit whack. Uh, before we sort of go in. And, um, oh, my subjects are freaking me out a little bit. Yeah. I guess it's not the worst thing. We've got this coming up in the rear. Uh, it's not the worst thing if they do focus on the poles. So 
so our wall exhaustion is at zero zero which is uh, very nice and it does tempt me to push for that we'll see how we feel about it i would love to like break his alliance with russia humiliate him the issue is that i really want to uh you know use the reconquest cv against him but power projection is pretty valuable and then uh, go in and humiliate russia that might be exactly what we do uh, but either way guys this war is going to take some time to wrap up so uh, sorry to leave you on a little bit of a cliffhanger here but uh, this is kind of our natural state right this is almost like we're at peace with no war exhaustion nothing to uh, really gain in terms of like a land grab so uh, we're just a warmongering savage basically but uh, yeah plenty more of this to come in the next episode and uh, we finally dealt with these rebels i'm going to go ahead and clean this up and then send these guys out to poland i hope you guys enjoyed thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next episode where we continue to fight on.